Hi you guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Colors and I'm back with another video and today's video is going to be the signs and symptoms that I personally experienced before my BFP. So if you're interested in hearing about those things, just keep on watching. Now, I know this video is going to be a little bit weird because as you know, me being pregnant again was definitely and huge surprise to me but there was definitely a lot of flags that shown that girl you might be pregnant but i was definitely ignoring them but i definitely shouldn't have because they were pretty prominent signs in my opinion to let me know that hey you are pregnant so i'm hoping that this will help you um figure out if you are or you are not so let's just get right into it so the first thing that I noticed in no particular order actually within the first I guess two weeks was that I was experiencing some sort of insomnia. I was definitely staying up late at night and I did experience this in my first pregnancy but the difference was that I experienced that a lot later in my pregnancy. Um, maybe like a couple of weeks, maybe even months. I definitely noticed a lot of the symptoms I experienced first time but I experienced them a lot later. So I guess that might be a trend when I get pregnant with my next baby. But um, that was something I definitely experienced. I definitely was staying up on my phone till 1, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. It's like, bitch, you got work tomorrow. Like, why is you still awake? And I literally had to like throw my phone away and like sit there until I fell asleep. And what was weird about it, which is another symptom I definitely experienced, was that I was super exhausted. When I went to work, I was so tired and then I was kind of like why am I so tired because when I went back to work I only went, work, went to work part-time I was only working five hour days for maybe like two months or whatever so in this time I literally just started going back to work a couple of weeks so the fact that I was so exhausted was kind of like weird to me but I figured that it was only because it was new to me and I've been off of work so long. So I couldn't really guess that that could have been a sign. But alongside of that, um, once I started to start to take naps as soon as I got home, I was kind of like, I remember going through this when I was pregnant. But it was so unconscious that I felt that in hindsight I was really dumb about it. But I am not a person at all that takes naps. But when that started happening, I was kind of like, God, I am godly tired. And even when I was doing those five hours at work, I was dying. Like, why was I dying at work? It, it wasn't even that deep. Let me get five hours now, I would kill them. But in that time, I was definitely like going through it. The next sign is probably the biggest sign I should have noticed was that I started to get like nausea associated with headaches. So I started to get nauseated, but it wasn't to the point that I was like throwing up or anything, but it definitely was like I would have nauseous moments where I was getting too exhausted and I would want to throw up. That was kind of weird and that really should have been alongside the exhaustion thing. Like the biggest sign, like you could be pregnant, bitch. Like. <laughs> Oh my god i got such a potty mouth but yeah um like you could be pregnant like girl you pregnant but i was kind of like working so hard you know i was kind of going through emotional roller coaster which is one another sign so it was kind of like i was so blinded because i was going through such a transition i was finally leaving my baby girl going giving her to a daycare so i thought that it was uh, me finally going to work after a year which was my exhaustion i thought that i was nauseated because i wasn't used to working plus i thought i was emotional because i was leaving my baby and giving her the daycare at four months old but in hindsight like bitch why are you sitting up here crying like every day i don't know people probably still really do that anyway but I feel like the only thing that brings the most emotions out of me is like when it comes to this whole baby getting pregnant type of stage. I've never been like super emotional before, but I was like, maybe this is like mommy hormones and you know, I'm going through such a transition and I'm leaving my baby and this and that. And I was just kind of like going 
through it. If you see my one video where I talked about, I don't even know what I was talking about, maybe going to daycare, like taking her to daycare, you'll see I was very emotional. And I was actually pregnant in that video and did not know it. So that was like probably why I was crying. Yes. <laughs> the one thing that was another symptom that I experienced was that I started to get hungry a lot. Now, even though I'm a little bit of a thickums anyway, um, I don't actually eat a lot. I have a really bad habit of eating one to two times a day tops. A lot of times eating one time a day. And I started to go through these phases where I was eating, um, like actually like going to McDonald's and sneaking like lunches and trying to eat them before I get home because I didn't want my husband to know that I was spending money, so much money every day going to McDonald's. Sorry, babe, if you watch this, like it was the truth. So I was starting to like go every day to McDonald's. Like, why was I going to McDonald's so much? Like, I was going a lot, and I went there maybe once to two times a day on top of whatever else I was eating. So that was another sign I was probably pregnant. Alongside of that, another sign was that I was starting to crave things that I don't actually like. So, I actually really don't like hamburgers, but I've never really cared for them in my life. And when, in that time where I was going to McDonald's a lot, I was ordering burgers all the time. And I'm just like, I don't really like burgers, but I like them now. So, like, wish I should have known that, girl, you were probably pregnant. So yeah uh, another thing sign of symptom which is probably only me situation because i don't know if this is something that everyone else can probably put two and two together with but for me it was a stage where at that time i was definitely trying to get rid of my milk because i was over the breastfeeding pumping stage and my breasts were starting to get very flat and i was trying to get rid of my milk but i noticed at one point that i felt like i was still like i was getting a little bit engorged and this was probably after like two weeks of already not pumping and i felt like i was still creating milk and i'm like why am i still creating milk and i could feel it it's not to the point to where i have to pump but i can definitely feel that i am getting a little bit slightly engorged and i'm like why am I not getting rid of milk? But I had a definitely a huge stage where I was barely creating milk when I was pumping all the time. So it's like, why am I feel like I can still pump three ounces right now? And a couple of months ago, I was struggling to get more than two. So it was it was kind of like one of those things like, why would I still create milk? But I was creating milk because bitch, you were pregnant and it is, it's not ready for you to get rid of milk. And even now I can still tell that my boobs are growing and probably need to try to pump again, which I am really, really dreading and don't want to do. And every day I look at my pump and it's like, today's the day and then I'm like, no bitch, I can't do it. But I probably am gonna have to because they're getting definitely bigger. Another sign and symptom that I definitely experienced was pregnancy-like symptoms. So for me, TMI, one of the things that lets me know that my period is coming on soon, maybe that night or the next day, is that I get kind of like the bubble guts, like I need to use the bathroom and potentially got to, oh, I got a diarrhea or something like that. And it was never a case where I had to like run, but that's just like one of the symptoms I experienced during my pre pre period stage. So it's like, I get like bubbly stomach, like I gotta like take a, take a dump and then I don't. So I started to experience that and I thought that was a sign that my period was coming on, but um, in hindsight, um, I was kind of getting some cramping with that which was probably letting me know that you was getting like implantation maybe that was what, what it was i don't really know i never been in a case where i was able to self-identify a lot of those things um because my period was so funny but um that probably was one of the symptoms that let me know that you are pregnant another thing that i did experience during the early stages before I found out I was pregnant was that I started to get super, super dehydrated. I felt like no matter what I did, I was very, very thirsty. It was kind of like excessive a little bit. It was, it was kind of like overboard. So I was 
not understanding why I was so thirsty and get a little dehydrated, um, feeling like I need to fuel my body. And alongside of that, another symptom was associated with laziness. So I'm like, I'm super lazy, super lazy, super exhausted, not really working that bad to be as exhausted as I am. I'm constantly like backing down water or whatever and but i'm lazy though i'm like not working that hard but i'm working but i'm doing like the bare minimum like <laughs> the bare minimum and a lot of these things and symptoms that i'm telling you about is not like happening all at once but let's say this is happening this week or this is monday and then this one's friday this was sunday this was it was like kind of like Brad days, it was on like all at one time per se, but it might've been like within the first two weeks I was experiencing all these things, but I was so kind of like checked out because of my emotions and everything like that, that I did not notice like, girl, these are signs that you could be pregnant, but I was just so naive to it. So the last thing that I definitely experienced as a symptom was uh, the bloody nose and at this time I think after the bloody nose I was kind of like maybe I should check because it was so much going on I was like let me just check so this was actually earlier in the day of the day that I actually took my pregnancy test and I found out I was actually pregnant so um, in a lot of these symptoms I continue to experience obviously but i definitely wanted to just get out um the signs and symptoms and things i experienced before my bfp so that i'm hoping that you will be able to get gauge that if you are pregnant or if you are ttcn or if you could just relate <laughs> girl that hey i experienced the same thing too when i was early on in my pregnancy or before my bfp but yeah um definitely the next time i become pregnant i will be able to put a pin on it but outside of that this is definitely all for this video i really do appreciate you guys watching i love you guys and i guess i would just see you guys in the next one